that is North Korea. Trump will have a third player to contend with in his equation with the Koreans, and that is China. After the historic train ride last month, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has paid another visit to China, this time on a plane. He traveled to the port city of Dalian to hold talks with Chinese President Xi Jinping. And I must repeat, this is the second time in two months that both leaders have met. Just like the meeting in Beijing, Kim Jong-un's visit to Dalian was also kept under wraps. Chinese media said that the aim of these talks was to strengthen strategic communication between both the leaders. Analysts feel that by meeting Xi Jinping again, Kim is trying to get China on board for his diplomatic overtures towards the United States. Ahead of the meeting with Trump, Kim has criticized Trump for claiming credit for the detente. The U.S. president has said that his strategy of putting maximum political pressure on North Korea drove it to the negotiating table. North Korea has called these claims misleading. The next event to watch out for is a summit between the leaders of Japan, South Korea and China. That will happen in Tokyo. Japan, remember, seems to have been relegated to the margins of the ongoing diplomatic parlays. It is expected to discuss North Korea on priority in that meeting. South Korean President Moon Jae-in and Chinese Premier Lee Ke-kyung will be in Tokyo for this meeting. Needless to say, we'll be tracking all of that for you. Still ahead on the show.